Hey there, thanks for stopping by Muse Themes. My name is Steve Harris. Today let's have a look at a new widget called the Wufu Forms widget. Now what this is, is it's a third party form provider that allows you to create elaborate and quite powerful forms. And what our widget does is simplify integration with Muse. Now we've used Wufu for a long time. It was actually the first form provider that I ever integrated into a Muse site. So this was back in 2011 and I still use it to this day. I think it's one of the best platforms out there. So we actually use a Wufu form on Muse themes for our contact form here. So you can see that you have drop down functionality. We have the ability to choose a screenshot or upload a file. So it's a really great system. And I think you're gonna be blown away at how much you can do with a Wufu form outside of, especially if you're used to working with a business catalyst form, which is really quite limited or, or the default forms which you're working with in Muse. So let me go ahead and show you how this system works. If I jump into Muse here, I'll show you our widget quickly first, which is quite simple. So if we drag the Wufu forms widget out onto the page, you'll see that we get this big box that appears and right away a form appears in the frame in Muse. So if we look on the flyout panel, you can see that it's really simple. We only have two options. We have the username and we have the form ID. So as you can see, everything is more or less handled on the Wufu side of things on their website and we just plug in a couple of variables here in our form or in our widget flyout panel rather and it appears right in Muse. And you can see if I preview this in the browser, you'll see what this form looks like. So this is just dragging the widget out on the page. We have a really quite elaborate advertising estimate form. It has a calendar picker, it has a drop down menu and it's, uh, it's a really great looking form. So this is just a default form that I haven't even styled or really set up on the Wufu end. So let's go ahead and get started in Wufu and I'll show you how to make something like this happen. So first of all, let's go to Wufu.com. And when we go to Wufu, you can sign up for an account. They have various accounts, free and paid, but let's go ahead and create a free account just to get started. Okay, so when we get to the account sign up page, we'll just start by, of course, entering in our email address. Now when we have the account URL, it says one word nickname. This is something you'll need to remember as we're going to enter this in the form. So we could do something like for this video, Muse test, and that'll be it. So actually this account URL that you're putting in here is the first option on our form that we're going to use, where it says Wufu username, that's what we're going to use, Muse test. Okay, now let me jump back to Wufu and finish setting up the account. Okay, great. So once I've set up the account on Wufu, now we can go ahead and create a form. So they walk you through a pretty simple process for building a form, but let's just go a new form. And what you do now is you actually add whatever type of field you want to this form. So we can add a single text field. And if we click on that field, then all of the options appear on the side. So the field label might be something like name in this case. We can change it from being a paragraph text, which is obviously a bigger field, or we can do a checkbox, drop down, anything like that. We can change it from required, um, which would mean that the user has to enter something in on the field. We can limit the characters for this field, and we can even add something like instruction. So we say something like, please enter your full name, just like that. So now when a user actually mouses over or hovers over this form, these instructions are going to appear beside it. So the way that we work through this Wufu area here is we just go ahead and we add the various options that we need. So these fancy pants options here below are really the things that you're going to, you're not going to find in Muse. So users often ask for a file upload option. So I'm on a free account right now that doesn't have the file upload option on it. You'll have to upgrade to a paid account, um, obviously for storage reasons, but so you can actually build a form that's that complex on here. We can add, uh, let's go ahead and add a phone number, we'll add an email, we can add a website, and all these can of course be customized. Now let's go ahead and we'll just name this form. So let's just call this sample for Muse themes. And then we can go ahead and add a description. I'll just leave the default in there for now. So you can see how this workflow works. You go through, you build your form, you add all the fields you need. So once I'm done that, let's just save this form 
and it gives us some options. We can keep editing it. No, we're done. We can set up email notifications or we can go back to the form manager. Well, let's just look at the email notifications quickly. So we are on the notification settings here and we have the ability to set the form to send to our inbox or we can even have it text us to our cell phone when something comes in, we either a new entry or new comment. Or this is really nice over here, we can have it work with another application. So something like Campaign Monitor or Salesforce or even Dropbox, you can integrate it into your form. So if somebody uploads a file, for example, then perhaps you could have it upload to your Dropbox folder. Or if somebody fills in the form and it's a newsletter sign up and you're using Campaign Monitor or MailChimp, just going to push their email and contact information in right away. So it's a great system. For now, I'll just leave all this blank and let's go back to our main forms area here. So you can see we have our form, it's a sample from use themes. And then below that we have all these settings. We can look at analytics as far as how people are filling out and interacting with our form. We can set up notifications, etc. So the main thing that I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna integrate this into Muse. So in our widget flyout panel, we had those two options. We had the username, which I already entered in, which is Muse test. And now we need the form ID. So back in Wufoo, you can see the username is actually always displayed to right up here in the address bar before Wufoo, so Muse test. And now let's just grab that form ID. So for this form, if we click on the share button, you can see all of these ways for you to share your form and there's a bunch of links. And this weird string in here, just like that, that's actually your form ID. It doesn't want me to really grab it from this link or this link, but if you click on this API information button in the top right, it gives you what they say is the hash, which is actually the form ID. So if we just copy that and we jump back into Muse and let's paste that in, our form should appear right on the page. And there you go. It's exactly as we just built it in Wufoo. So if we preview this in the browser, you'll see how well it works. Obviously it's working really nicely and we didn't really have to do anything as far as integrating it in, it's quite simple. So now from a style standpoint, you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't really blend into my existing site. That's where theming comes in handy. So you have a form and right now it says it's applied with the default theme. But what you could do is you could create a new theme for that form. And Wufu brings you to their theme designer area. And the way that this works is you just work your way through clicking each of these options. For example, the background, we can choose a wallpaper. So there's red, we can change basically everything about this form. We can change all of the colors and all of the styles. We can go into the typography and change the typography to different fonts. So you just work your way through each of these options, styling it as you need. You can obviously change the borders, buttons, everything. It's very, very simple to do. And when you're done with that and you're happy with your theme, then you just go save theme and you can give it a new name. So let's just call this Muse Test. There you go. So once we've created this new theme, let's make sure it's saved. Then I'm back on our forms page here. As long as we have the Muse Test theme applied to this form, then in Muse, it should appear as we've set it up and styled it. Now, one other thing that I want to show you that's really powerful in this is the ability to collect payments. So Wufu integrates with um, quite a few payment providers out there. And as you can see with this form, we have a payment button here. And if I click on this, it's probably going to say it's a paid feature. And of course we can't use it on our free account, but it will let me test drive it. So let's click, click test drive here. And now it wants us just to set up a few little merchant steps. So let's say we've gone ahead and we've already created a Stripe account. That's a merchant provider to collect payment info. Now Stripe is actually who we use for Muse themes. We could do something just simple like PayPal standard. And now we go ahead and just enter in our PayPal email. We enter in our currency. We can set some options here like collecting shipping address or showing a running total. And then we just assign prices to things. So let's say our price, base price here is $10. And we want to assign a price to a field. So we could have a field that says, you know, whatever we want. Basically what you're doing is you're building a form that allows you or users to click through and build whatever this package may be. So perhaps it's an online menu where you'd want somebody to be ordering food and, and customizing things and the price will change as you go. So. Wufu has all this built right into it. So you can build a really customized form. 
And let me go ahead and just save this for now. Needs an email address for our PayPal integration. So let's just go like that. I'll enter mine in and save it. Okay. So now with this form, we could actually collect payment info potentially on it. And it's all routed through Wufu system. You can see here on the side, it says there's a total $10. And once I submit this form, it will actually route us to PayPal and allow us to pay for something. So it's a great way for you to simplify e-commerce. Now let me go ahead and delete this form and I'll make you something a little bit better so you can see. Let's go new form. And what we can do is let's create text, a text field. Let's call this name. Let's add a new field and we will select multiple choice options. So here we have the option to add various choices. So let's say package one, package two, and package three. Okay, done. And I'm not gonna add any choices to those fields, we're good. So there you go. I'm gonna save this form, we'll just leave it called untitled, and I'm gonna go back to the form manager. And now in untitled form, I'm gonna set up the payment part of it again, we'll test drive it. I'm gonna select PayPal standard for this, and I'll enter in my info. Okay, now we need to assign prices. So this is where, I, when I've added those fields where we have package one, package two, and package three, I could change this to say package one is $10, package two is $20, package three is $30. And there you go. So those are all assigned automatically. So when I save the settings for this form, and now let's go back to the form manager and view it, you can see that as I select these different packages, the pricing is actually changing on the side. And I'll just enter my name in here and go submit. And let's see where it takes me. It takes me right to PayPal with the package info already assigned on the left side. So you see how easy it is for you to integrate e-commerce if you're using a form system like that. And of course, because we're building the system or we're building the form on the Wufu website, our integration in Muse never needs to change. This ID is still the same and the Wufu username is still the same. So if I preview this form in the browser now after making all of those edits, Oh, it's lost. So you know what? We need to change the form to use. I forgot that I changed this to untitled form. So let's go ahead and just enter in that new hash into the box in Muse. Okay, there's our new hash in there. We get a little preview of the form right on the page. And if I preview this now, you can see that we have our e-commerce form integrated right in. And everything works really well. If I hit submit, redirects us to PayPal. So e-commerce in your Muse website, very simply, and the ability to do custom orders, custom packages, it's a great solution. So Wufu is one of my favorite form providers out there, and I highly suggest that you check it out and integrate it into Muse using our widget. Best of luck, and if you have any questions or concerns with this, give us a shout. Thanks again.